Hi guys, welcome to Simopedia channel. In this video, I will explain how to build a WordPress website from scratch. I will show you how to find the right domain name for your website, and then how to set up hosting, and we are going to install WordPress locally on our laptop, and then we will upload a free theme, and we will edit it, and we are going to set up logo and everything. And then when we finish in the end of this video, I will show you how to upload all your work to your live website. Follow the explanation and thanks for watching. First, we have to find the right domain name for your business or for your website. You will find the link in the description to this website. For example, I'm typing marketing and then click generate. It's really going to take a long time because marketing is a very good keyword. This is the part that we need CEO part to be friendly for search on chance. So I'm just going to give it some time to find the right keywords. If it stops, just keep moving the page and it's going to keep searching. Marketing C, Marketing Proxy, Marketing Gamer, Server Transport. All those keywords are available. You can buy them from your hosting or from another domain name provider. It's up to you. You can choose what you want. So I'm just going to choose this cheapest marketing. Now we just go to namecheap.com. I'm going to search for cheapestmarketing.com. Then search. Now this is our hosting provider that I really recommend. Just click here web hosting and you can choose your plan. As you see it's 70% off. This is really amazing those days. It could be another time 50% or 60%. Here you just type the domain name that you find. As you choose, cheapest marketing.com for example. As you see here, one year it's for free. In name cheap is eight dollar. Sometimes it's better to buy your domain name separated than your hosting and then you link it. As you see, when I do simopedia.com, it's, it's not available because I already bought it, and it's the same thing for other domains. So nemomish.com is really going to save you a lot of time. The first website that I provide is to find the domains. If you already own a domain, you just type it here. For example, something.com. I will show you how to link it during this video. Here you choose your billing 12 months, 24 months. It's up to you. Here is your package. If you already own a host, then you can skip those steps. And then just fill up your payment type and then your informations. Of course, it's not going to be zero zero, it has to be like your right informations. As you see, you can also pay by PayPal.
money back 45 days if you are not happy with this service you can ask for, to get back your money as you see here 96 dollars we can make it less by going here and then you see this is cost you 23 dollars you can unselect this if you want also backup it cost you 23 dollars as you see here is it has 45 dollars and then click here and check out As you see here, we are in hospital right now. You will receive an email after that, including your information, your password, and everything. And then you just log in to hospital. You will also receive the link to log in in your email. After that, you click here. Hosting. And then C panel right here. Then it's going to show up. A C panel just like that. So if you want to link your existing domain name, domain name, if you already own a domain name, you just copy those name servers and just go to your domain name providers, for, for example, namecheap.com, find your domain and then click manage, and then if you go to the bottom, you will find name servers and click here and then custom DNS and just paste them here. And then you save your work. After that, it's going to show up 48 hours, but mostly it takes only one hour to link your domain name with your hosting. After that, you can click here to install WordPress or here, or you can click here, quick install. And then you just click on here. Here you select your domain name. It's going to show up here and you can give a name to your directory if you want or you just leave it the same. And then click next. After that you can give a title to your blog. And admin user. You can give it a username. And then you can type your admin email, it has to be the same email of your hosting. And then click install. It's going to take some time. I'm just speeding up the video. And then, as you see here, it's going to show up your username and password. You just copy them. And you go to this link, you type your domain name and then slash wp dash admin slash and then just log in to WordPress. Now we are in WordPress, we are going to visit our website. It's very simple as you see. Now we are going to change everything. First of all, we have to change our password, you just click here, users, and then click here, edit. And then click here. You can use this password if you want. Here, just type your new password. And then click here, log out everywhere else. And then click update profile. Okay, after that we are going to log out and log in again with our new password. Now 
login and then you can save your password you can keep it in your email or in a file or it's up to you just remember your password Now we are going to Google to install WordPress locally on our PC. Browser and type Bitnami, then click here. You will find the link in the description. Then click Applications. Then click on WordPress. Then just click here. You can download it in Windows, Mac and Linux. I'm just going to click here to download it in Windows. Then go to the bottom and click here. No thanks. Then choose your language and click OK. Next, 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 just fill up your information here. Make sure you remember your login information, this is very important. Next. Next, you can select this if you want, the application to send your notifications to your Gmail, then next, 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 then next, this is really going to take a long time, I'm just going to speed up the video. Then authorize access. Make sure you click here and then authorize access. And then finish. Then it's going to show up in your browser. Just click access WordPress. As you see, we are in WordPress now, so to log into your WordPress, just type localhost slash WordPress slash WP login. You will find this link in the description. Just click enter, fill up your informations, and then log in. Now we are in WordPress locally. You can work peacefully on your team, and after that, we will upload it to our live website so just go to this website you will find the link in the description to download our team and then just click download this is for free we are going to work on this team just go to appearance and click teams and then click add new And then upload team and then click here to choose your file or you can drag it just like simply just like that and click install or you can lock it the file and then open and then install it's the same thing you just give it some time And then click activate
This is how it looks like the team. We are going to edit everything and then just click here install homepage. Give it some time. and then click activate plugin then we are going to see our website how it looks like remember we are w working on localhost on our pc this is the design how it looks like this is very clean template, you can change everything you want. It has social media and everything. contact form ok let's, it is this let's see if they have another team you just go to pages then click here edit in cost, customizer you can do it also in the front page just click customize it's the same thing as you see here they have so many Teams. The first three teams are for free. You can import this if you want. Then click active. Install plugin. Okay, click here. It's going to take some time. I'm just speeding up the video in some parts. You can change everything, customize, click here. As you see there are, they have so many options, I'm going to choose this for example and we are going to work on it. Okay, now we need our logo. You will find the link in the description. Just type free CEO tools logo maker and then as you see this website is amazing. It has so many logos, designs, you can choose anything. I'm just going to choose a random one just to give you an example. You can it is here type the name of your website. You can change the font. I'm just going to be fast just to show you the options that you have here. You can move it as you want, you can type something here, you can remove it. Delete this parts. You can change colors. You can do background if you want. We don't need them. Okay, save. Extract the file. Now I'm going right click on the mouse and then property. As you see here is GPG we need PNG. We need a transparent background. We just go to this website and then click auto crop. It's going to crop it automatically. You will find the link in the description and then 
edit and then transparent background and then click here magic wand click here in the, this white part and then cut out and then just do the same thing in the other parts you can use photoshop of course to do it in one click i'm just giving you live tools that you can use online without using any software just to make it easier for you guys and just take all your time if you have photoshop anything you can do it better than this you know and then we save this I'm sorry guys I'm speeding up the video just to be short and then we are going to rename the file is very important to rename all pictures all files that you upload to your website as you see just click on the logo upload files you can drag it just like that but no I'm not going to do this because we renamed the, the logo it's very important to copy this and you give more information with more keywords As you see this is the link to your logo as you see when you give it a name it's going to show up clean link and it's friendly for search engine optimization I'm sorry if I am speeding up the video in some parts you can use the slow down option in the YouTube you just give a title to your website and then tagline is very important and give it your own keyword that target your niche select site icon this is the icon that shows up on top of this website of every website they have the site icon is called favicon so just go to this website again and then I'm gonna click crop image I'm going to delete this and then we keep only the logo without the name of the website click cut out and then click crop another area I'm gonna select this and then cut out then I'm going to click edit and then auto crop image as you see it's cropped now we go edit again and then row size image you just give it 400 to 400 it has to be equal and then click row size then we are going to save it now as you see it's GIF format we need PNG we just go file and then I'm going to search for convert file format it's right here and then click convert to PNG ok then save ok I'm going to show up show up image in the file and then gonna rename this it's very important to rename every picture you upload to your website and give it keyword that target your niche and then I'm going to click here then upload
again I just do it fast you can take your time and give it a proper description then crop image is going to show up here on top of your website okay publish to save my work Here you can just click here and then edit this text in the front if you want also you can click here and edit this this is a button if you want to link it to one of your pages to this page for example Just gonna copy and do this. You can click and choose new tab if you want it to open in a new tab. It's better to be in same tab because it's internal link. I'm just going to change this page to about us. You can give it your information. You can type the contents that you want here. Just information about you or about your website. I'm just clicking random things just to show you options that we have. We are going to upload image. Of course you have to give it a name. And then you type description and cloud in your the keyword that you are targeting. can click here and then you can change the size if you want and then you can link it to another website if you want or to another page inside your website for example I'm going to link it to my Facebook page and then update can choose the heading can click update you see this link this is the page that we just edited. As you see, I click on the picture and it takes me to my Facebook page. Let's click edit. You can click here and add anything you want. Here you can change the URL of the page. It has to be the same thing like your subject. Here you can add an image to here to show up in this banner. 
I'm just going to choose this just a random image every time you have to give title captions and then you have to give a proper description that has a keyword to target your niche here you can allow comments this is the sidebar this part sidebar you can make it in left side front side and then click update Okay, now we just copy the link and then we paste it here and then apply changes and then learn more. Let's make it contact us, for example. It could be something else, it's up to your need. You just go to create another page. Just click pages and then add new. Here give it a title, contact us. And then how you want your customers to contact you. you just go to contacts and then we copy this code and then we go back to pages. And then it is here. And then we just paste it here or anywhere. In the bottom, for example, you just update. You see the page, view page. This is how it looks like your contact form. So people, they can contact you directly from your website. Here you can change colors, the background color. Just make it blue. I'm just showing you options that we have. We can remove the sidebar. Like here, default template, and then update. And then just press enter. You can do your phone number for example if you want. then your email and then also you can do the maps if you want people to visit you just go to Google Maps and then you can activate your GPS in your browser to locate yourself where you are or where you want people to visit you and then just click share and then here and then you just copy the html and then you just go to the bottom and just paste it here this is the html of your location you can type something here can change the colors here if you want you can make it to the center you can I'm just showing you options that you have you can link it to your whatsapp of course you can change color
have this I'm just doing this random just to show you options that you can do of course you just take all your time as you see here phone number this is the map location let's just make them both in the center let's make it smaller and change colors from here also just be more creative to see the page again this is how it looks like this map is small I will make it wide you just go here and then you see width and you just change this to 1000 and 200 and then update and then it's going to be perfect for your page As you see here, it's really good. And then just copy the link and just go to this button and just paste it here. You can give it a name. You can create any page you want. We can go also here appearance and then manual. This is the property proper way to change the menu I'm just going to remove it and then click custom links and then just give it to URL that you created this one and then just give it a name contact us it could be any other page you are you need this is that simple that's how we create menu Remove this, I'm going to create it again for the menu. I already created this page, and then you can drag it like that and save menu. You go to home page, click about us then contact us this is the pages that we created and then we just click on your logo you go to dashboard and it's the same thing for those buttons that we created I just test them if they are working and then click here customize to change more things in this team front page and then you click here options and then you can select file to change this image that we have in the background and then click upload file and then just go to google and then type no copyright image it's going to show up this you just choose pixels.com and then pixabyte.com there are many websites that provides you images for free without copyrights to use them in your website just type the keyword that you are targeting I'm just typing marketing for example choose your picture I'm going to choose this one for example and then click free download Again, I'm going to show up this in folder and then rename this to keyword that are targeting your niche and then I'm gonna select the image
Take your time to give it a description and then OK. Publish. We have more options here. OK, we go to this part. You can click here. You can choose any other icon. that fit your needs you have so many choices here I'm just going to choose this one for example you can change this if you want just click here and change the content also here you can do the same thing for the other part Just choose Bitcoin icon. You can do the same thing for other parts. You can change anything. I'm just clicking here and there just to show you the options. There is a button you can create a page and link it here in this button. It's up to your need. You just click Add New. Or you can copy the link of one of your pages that you already have and you link it here and then you save. You can change any of this. Again, just go to those websites, type the keyword that you want, for example, team. All those pictures are without copyright, I'm just going to choose one of them this for example and then free download and then let's just change this again show in file, give it a name And then you can drag it simply like that. As you see, it's clean link. And then you just copy and you can give it a proper description as you see everything easy to change in this tip can click anywhere to change also here change this icon you can choose any icon that you want For example here, this Amazon icon You can do the same thing for others Here you can change this image Also, you can delete any part you want If you don't need any part of this theme, you can just delete it simply And then you can change the here to make it wide, change background, you can change anything, you can change the color of the background from here. You 
can add any item you want. can also copy the link of the image that you want and you just paste it here click enter and then it's going to show up you can give it a name you can link it to any page you want you can create a page if you want as you see the photo is changed you can edit the content make it full width is better you can delete this you can add this button as you see it's easy to change everywhere it's easy to change just delete this this is the posts area just go to your wordpress dashboard and click post those posts they show up here you can click here to see more posts let's click publish to save my work and then I'm gonna close this to see how it looks like Okay, now we are in this part. Click see all blog posts. Shows you the posts that you have. Now we just go to WordPress dashboard. So actually I have to delete everything. We don't need them, we need our posts. And they have to be new. Then click add new. Then just give a title to your post. That target your niche and then just write your content take all your time to write your content it has to be clean I'm just showing you options that you can do here you can make it in the middle Right, left, center. You can change color of your text. Just click here, I'm going to give some space. Just click here and then I'm going to add image. You can assert image from URL. Just go to this free copyright pictures to show you example, just copy the link of this image and paste it here, click enter and then it's going to show up. This also you can use it for the pictures that they have copyrights. To add them in your uh, blog or anything, if you really need them. I'm just going to choose a random image that I already have. Every time you have to give description, more keywords is very important. Then you can click here to change the size of image. Here you, if you want to link it to another page or another website Here just give a tag Let's give it a name, post for example And then you type another keyword that target your niche You can allow comments if you want 
people to comment your post and then set a background with the banner that show up on top of your post and then click publish so let's see how it looks like view post This is how it looks like boss. This is the tags. Here people can use comment. This is you. Search bar. Now we are going to WordPress dashboard. To change this part, the sidebar, we just go to appearance and then widgets. This is the sidebar that you have. This is the search bar. This. Recent boss. You can make it 6, 5, 4. The number that you want of recent post to show up here. A recent comment. I don't need it. Just did it. Meta. Just did it. Okay. Here. Just give it your name. Can give it a title if you want to link it to your Facebook page or Facebook profile or any other website you want, then save. Click here and then edit to give it an image. Here you have more options. Click here, it's very important to open link in a new tab. Okay, let's edit this image. You can insert it from URL. Or you can add image. I'm just going to add a random one. Let's upload it. This one for example. If you want to link it to another link, you can choose the size of the image. Okay, let's make this proper link. Save. Okay, now here in archive, I don't need this. Delete. Categorize this, categorize to show categories that you have in your website, it's better to do this. Tags, sidebar, okay let's refresh this page. As you see here, everything changed. You can also drag this. You can replace it as you want. It's up to your need. You can give it any title you want. As you see, if you click on the picture, it takes you to Facebook profile. Actually, it has to open in a new tab. Let's update and then save.
Just click here as you see it open in a new tab. Ok, just click here to go to dashboard on your logo and then click customize. I'm just going to remove it because I don't really like this logo, I did this very fast. You can take all your time to make your logo and I will leave uh, several resources to create a very nice logo for free online. Ok, now we are going to edit this part. You can click add new and then you create a page and then you put places there. So I'm just showing you this first for example. Gonna add an image here. I'm just going to be fast to add it from URL. Copy the link of this image and then paste. Click enter. It's going to show up here. You can crop it, you can make it round if you want. Okay. You can allow commands. Set featured Im image. I'm going to choose this one. Then publish. I'm gonna copy the link. And then you can place it here. So you just be more creative about your content and you know better about what you are targeting. You can edit those things also if you want. This is the contact form, just leave it the same. This is the photo, you can change this because it's free team. This is only for pro version. As you see, I click here, it's going to take you to the page that you just created. As you see, it's very easy to edit this theme. So now we just go to appearance and then click menu in localhost. And then custom menu you can add URL. Let's go to pages. You can create a new page and you can add it to your menu. It's up to your need, you can create as much as money as you want. You can create as much as options you need in your menu. And then I'm just being fast. Money test, add to money. Another one. 
I'm just going to create so many to show you what you can do with this. You can just drag it here for example. To create a sub menu is very easy. Just move it and then it's going to be a sub menu. Just like that. You can create as much as you want, it's up to your needs. And then you create more pages and more content, more pictures. Save menu, now we are going to see how it looks like in our website. Just going to go to dashboard, as you see here, this is the menu that we create, it has a sub menu. This is a sub menu. Then just go back. You can replace the menu as you want. Up and down. As you see here, it's very good, it gives you sub menus here. Now we go to widget. Now we just go to plugins. You can click add new plugin. Click add new and then type all in one. And then click install. This plugin is to import your content, all your work to your live website as we are working right now in localhost and then click activate it's going to show up here and then click export we are going to export here click file it's going to take some time to export everything and then click download Then you just go to your live website, right now we are in localhost. For example this, the name of your website. And then log in to your WordPress. Then go to plugin and we are going to download the same plugin. Just click add new to download the same plugin. Just search all in one. And then install now. Click activate. And then you just go here and click import. And then you just click here import from file. And then just choose the file that you downloaded. Then you just go here and then upload and then it's going to be uploaded all the work that you did. And then you visit the sites that you work on and you will find all your work right here. So guys, if you find this video useful for you, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.